Hey, Mass Hire family, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Today, we're gonna to show you how to change your name in WebEx meetings. Now, you're probably thinking, well, that's easy, right? Well, not necessarily. If you're an organization, like here in Metro North, we have a WebEx license, we log in with it, we create workshops, we provide virtual services to our customers, um, and we use it on a regular basis. But then we want to attend a WebEx meeting outside our organization. You know, something that's being hosted elsewhere, we wanna show up, but we're showing up as Mass Hire Metro North. So how do we go in as ourselves, as John Hampy or Jennifer Green? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm even gonna throw a curveball at you in case you're running a WebEx extension in let's say Chrome and how to turn that off and do it through the browser. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're here at the Mass Hire Metro North Career Center WebEx room. We just created this meeting, and now we're gonna go to the inboxes of two participants that are gonna join the meeting. We just sent them some invitations. Uh, the first one's gonna be in Firefox. So we're gonna head right over to their inbox. Okay, and there's the invitation. All right, Metro North is inviting you. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna join. All right, now look what happens. A pop-up comes up. This is the WebEx desktop application. It's trying to launch uh, the session using the app. And many times the app is connected to your WebEx license. If you have a WebEx license in your organization and it's just kind of like hijacking the name from your license and gonna put you in that meeting as Mass Hire Metro North, but you wanna go in as yourself, Jennifer Green, Joe, or whatever your name is, you wanna go in as yourself, especially if you're attending a WebEx meeting of another organization. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna say cancel this. We wanna cancel that. And then down below, you're gonna see join from browser. We're gonna go ahead and click that. All right, and this is what gives you the ability to put in your name specifically. So we're gonna say, we'll just say it's John Smith. Um, you put in your email address, whatever it may be. We're just gonna click next. Okay. Say allow. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna join the meeting. All right. Okay, and now if we come back to our meeting, look, John Smith is in the meeting. We're not in as Mass Hire Metro North or whatever name or brand is associated with your WebEx license, um, and now you're in as yourself. So now we're gonna come back to that virtual environment and we're gonna go into uh, Chrome, all right? And we have another invitation that we sent out. Now, there's gonna be a bit of a curveball here. I'm gonna show you what I did. Now we're gonna hit join meeting. And boom, it's going right into the meeting. Why didn't it get the pop-up? I didn't get the chance to put in my name. Well, it's because you probably have, and you should check for this, a WebEx extension in your browser. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn that off and watch what happens. Because it didn't give us the ability to, to go in as through the browser. So what we'll do is we'll come back here. We're gonna go and see these little three uh, action buttons up here. We're gonna come here. This is Chrome, more tools, and we're gonna go to extensions. And there it is, the Cisco WebEx, WebEx extension. We're gonna go ahead and just toggle it off, okay? So now we'll come back, we'll hit join meeting and now you get the option to opt out and cancel. So it's so the desktop app can't kind of take you on your way, if you will. So we're just gonna sit cancel, join from browser, put your name in, in this case, it's Jennifer Green. Go next, I'm gonna go ahead and mute and join the meeting. And there's Jennifer Green. Okay, so we learned how to um, ignore that WebEx uh, desktop app that you may have on your, on your system uh, and to just go in through the browser. And if you do have an extension, how just to turn it off and then that'll allow you, it'll give you the prompt so you can cancel out and go in through the browser and actually enter your name in. Okay, so I hope this video was helpful. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel. You'll always get notifications when new videos come out. 
and I want to thank you for your time today. I hope you're having a great one. Bye-bye.